think you probably answered this already in so many <laughs> so many ways, but um, I still am having trouble trusting. I um, about eight and a half years ago, my life completely unraveled, and against my wishes, I ended up back in Southern California, living with my mother and my mentally ill brother in this tiny little house, um, working you know, at a job that's not particularly fulfilling in any way, being in traffic, um, very isolated um, from spiritual family. Um, how do I discern if this is really what God wants for me all these years later, or if I'm not hearing the inspiration to make a change? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is in your best interests is deepening in your relationship with the Holy Spirit or with God. And so what stood out to me when you were sharing just then was when you said, I moved here against my wishes. So there is something in that that um, is not in alignment. Because the ultimate goal and where this is all leading to is realizing that my will and God's will are one. That's the experience. When you come into living in that experience, my will and God's will are one. I am listening and following every moment of the day. His will for me is perfect happiness, and I'm in it. Like, that's the alignment that we're coming into. And there is a, a lot of, of uh, seeing where there are conflicting wills and where my will is not lining up with God's will. Um, is You could say that's a big part of the journey. So when you said it's not my wish to come here, but I'm, I'm coming here, there's some kind of split in mind to feel like you're doing something against your wishes. And that's where it takes, that's where your inner inquiry needs to go to. And when you were asking before about um, getting down beneath the beliefs that something's not popping, I'm not coming into the inspiration just by seeing what I believe here. I'm still stuck. Underneath belief is desire. And to even have gone where you've gone and to South Carolina and feeling like it's not your desire to go there, but you're there, then that is very clearly that you're, you're experiencing compromise right now. And so I would say if you can spend some time with that and really look and, and get radically honest about the motivations in your mind and the desire in your mind and the wishes and the wants. And some of those can take the form, because remember they can be egoic. We want to see all the egoic desires and wishes, you know, and personal responsibility is huge. That's a big part of what we think we want. But tied in with that wanting is also personal responsibility and guilt. You know, I want others to be happy. I want others to know that I'm with them, that I love them. There's a lot of wants that are in the mind that are not in alignment with um, God's will for us. And that's where the split is experienced. Well, I want the peace of God and I want, you know, to be with those who need me even if I'm not happy. You can see the split desire and the split wants so it's about bringing all of these to the light and you have to look upon them to bring them to the light and bring them all up into awareness. Yeah, and that's where you can do your inner work so that you can come into experiencing um, that you are exactly where you're meant to be. You know, when you're doing this kind of work, it takes you very deep into the truth in your own mind and then you can start to experience that sense of oh this is exactly where I'm meant to be and from that place of um, being freed up of the compromise then if there is guidance from the Holy Spirit to follow in a practical way it will be able to get through to you because your channel will be open you know of your mind Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. It's really important, yeah, to bring this to the light and just not hold anything back with wanting to see exactly what's going on, you know, 
in your mind with the desires and the wishes and the wants, just bring them all up, you know, so they can be given to the Holy Spirit and then out of the release of them, you know, can be guided. So, so thank you so much, everyone.